Hi, Chuck. Hi. Let me get this straight now. You're in high school. Your parents were murdered by this psycho who escapes from prison and comes after you on your prom night. I hate when that happens. I, I know. It happens all the time. Uh, that's the very reason I didn't go to my prom. <laughs> because the stalker killer was going to get you. You never know. Why take yeah. chances is what I say. You have to take precautions, so just don't go. And I, I, I have to be, admit to you, I'm not a big fan of horror movies, only because I never see them when I go because my hands are in front of my face the whole time. Oh, you're one of those people? I'm one of the cowardly cowards, yes. Oh, man. I always I always want to take their hands and... and, and like make them not make them look because you're missing some really pivotal moments if your hands are always in front of you. I know, but I just found out in the last few years that this is the perfect movie to take a girl to because the girls love you the squeeze. You didn't know this before? Uh, how do I say this? I, I wasn't real good with the social stuff, so. Oh. <laughs> but no, I, uh, no, do I see a connection here with uh, director uh, Nelson McCormick? I mean, he did he direct you in those wonderful Nip Tuck episodes? He didn't, he actually uh, directed Nip Tuck uh, about six episodes before I was on or something like that. Um, he directed during the first part of the season and I was in the last. Um, but that was something that we did bond over. But Nelson McCormick, the director of Prom Night, was amazing. That was mainly the reason that I did the movie uh, because we had the exact same ideas and really gelled on a lot of the th same things that we wanted to do and, and things that we wanted to change. and. And um, he's, a, he's a great, great director. So that was the main reason why I wanted to work on the movie. I thought I found some big connection with you and then, of course, with uh, the great uh, Scott Porter, uh, Jason Street, Friday Night Lights. Yeah. So I, I thought since he directed some, I thought there was some kind of little club that he uh, found you guys and uh, wanted to keep you. Um, not really. I think it's, it's funny because everybody in the movie kind of has done, you know, the TV things and things like that. But uh, this was kind of the first big movie for everybody. So that was a cool thing that we all really bonded over. Now, from based on what you just said earlier, I take it you've always liked horror movies? Um, pretty much. It's weird because I've never been afraid of, of horror movies. I've never been one of those people that has been really scared to go into movies. I love the element of being, uh, of feeling really intense and being on the edge of your seat and whether it's you know a drama or a thriller or or a comedy, something that gets you extremely into the movie is really exciting for me. So, I've always really liked horror movies. Well, what's tell me what life's like on the set of a horror movie? I can't imagine it's like doing any other project. It is a little weird. It's it's bizarre when you see you know your friends who are playing your dead friends like walking around at craft service getting a donut and they're covered in fake blood and you know, bruises and stuff, and they're like, hey, Brett, you know, what's up? And it's it's kind of weird because, of course, you're, you know, taken out of <laughs> out of the whole element of reality. But um, it's really fun. You know, I think on a, on a set like that, because of the subject matter and people getting killed and blood and whatnot, you have to keep it light because it's kind of crazy. Yeah, well, I would imagine it's got to take some kind of toll on you because aren't you screaming like most of the movie? I'm actually not. It's funny because I am pretty oblivious to the fact that the the killer, the obsessed teacher, is out on the loose trying to find me, and I'm just having a really good time at my prom night. So I'm half the movie just dancing and having fun, which was really fun to shoot. Um, but then once he does find me, I do scream a little bit. But I'm not a real screamer in this movie. Now, is this a one-costume movie for you? Pretty much. There's a few... Uh, flashbacks and things like that where I'm 16, which was really disturbing. I think even more scary than the actual movie, me being 16, because um, I really do look young. But um, I'm basically in a prom dress for the entire movie, which was three months of shooting of, of one costume. So that was pretty crazy. And I can't tell. Is that you on the poster? I hope not. No, it's not. I don't know who it is. She's got a great mouth. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's I, don't, a... I don't have that that pretty of teeth. You get on a big poster and it's just at the bottom part of your face and you nobody gets <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't know who it is. I want to meet her though cuz hopefully it's working. <laughs> now I have to ask you about uh, you know, Blackwater Transit cuz Tony K, I actually got to see him film a little bit of his movie uh, Lobby Lobster. I think the guy's oh, a really? genius, but he's also not like every other director you've ever met. Yeah, he's definitely um, he's definitely unique in in his style and and his personality. I personally think he's brilliant, genius, and 
so lovely, and I loved working with him. I loved working on that movie. Um, I haven't uh, seen Lobby Lobster yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. And Blackwater was was such an amazing, rewarding, challenging experience, and I I owe that to Tony K, for sure. So. Well, I'm I'm gonna because you're you're so nice. I'm going to go see this movie, and I'm going to try to keep my eyes uh, open the whole time. Really? You're really going to see it? I promise you. Promise? Wow, okay. <laughs> so, Bring a girl. I'm going to. <laughs> I, that's the whole point. I, I, I really didn't want to see the movie, but I liked a little bit of uh, attention I get. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, bye.